And Commitment 2024 was just hours away from the Georgia presidential primary. Uh, President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump both in Georgia campaigning over the weekend. WJCL 22 News is Libby Wild joining us now live in the newsroom. Libby, you talked with election officials getting ready for tomorrow. Greg, that's right. Chatham County Board of Elections officials tell me they'll be working until it's dark today, doing everything they can to make voting smooth in Chatham County tomorrow. There are some things you need to know ahead of casting your ballot. Take a look. Always the Monday before an election is crazy. It's out with 2020 and in with 2024. The Georgia primary election is taking place Tuesday with Chatham County Board of Elections Chair Billy Wooten focused on a smooth day of voting. Well, getting uh, all the materials ready to go to the polls all equipment ready to go, meet with all the poll managers. There's a whole list of things that goes on the day before. Despite their own affiliation, voters can choose to vote in either the Republican or Democratic primary. Once again, they'll see President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump on their ballots in both primaries. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans are trying to take away our freedom. Join us on the noble quest of saving our country. But Wooten says this one is far from the same as four years ago. 2020 was an anomaly where you go from where we had 62,000 absentee ballots, and this time we'll have 1,300. He says about 8,000 people voted early in Chatham County with 7,000 in person. He says he and his team and equipment are secure. We do not have any history of election problems in Chatham. We have not had any problems at the polls. We haven't had any problems in, you know, with any of our uh, uh, machinery. Now, Georgia could be the state to give both candidates the amount of delegates they need to clinch their party nominations. That's why it's important to vote and polls, as a reminder, are open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Greg. Important information. Living Wild reporting live in our news.